I've gotten, I shall just. Okay. With no technological <laughs> expenditure spent, I shall just uh, have to listen to my phone to see if it's coming out. Yeah, I noticed that the other day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> We're on. We're on. Uh, so, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, hello, Nigel. Hello, Claire. Uh, just while people gather, uh, I'll, I'll play some music uh, and then you can work out who tonight's special guest is if you look at him and look at my t shirt, which is hopefully the right way around. Uh, you should be able to work it out. So, just play some of this. Hello, Joyce, as well. I definitely need a healthier hamster to make my computer work faster. It's uh, yeah. this one's a bit old on its wheel. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, some music while we gather. No, really. No, it's not going to play ball, so we won't do that. <laughs> uh, I'll come out of that uh, so we can actually see you, Graham. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, well. Never mind. There we go. That's better. Those yeah, no. things. Um, so, well, yeah, usually when I'm involved, they happen, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, very good evening, everybody. Uh, and a special warm welcome uh, to Mr. Graham Leslie, uh, bona fide rock legend uh, from the band Stairway. Um, good evening. So, uh, yeah, just uh, be lovely just to hand over to Graham and let him talk about... Uh, well, whatever he wants to talk about, but but uh, the band music, uh, what's kind of happening at the moment, uh, and uh, and how we can find out more. So, Graham, thank you for doing this, and over to you. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everybody. It's nice to uh, actually talk to James, um, sort of you know face to face, as it were. Um, it's been sort of emailing and that sort of thing for quite quite a while now, isn't it? So um, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah uh, sort of lead singer from uh, Stairway. Uh, been doing it rather a long time. Um, I think Saturday was our uh, for, the forty second birthday of the fi founding of the band. Um, we go back right. to 19, 1978, so it's rather a long time. Um, right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, we're doing it rather a long time. And uh, uh, what we do, what are we doing first of all? Um, I think we had uh, sort of a demo out in the 80s, um, in, the, in the mid 1980s. Um, mm -hmm. we, we got signed by King Clay Music in the late 80s, I think it was, um, and uh, released part of a, a compilation album, which pro probably everybody's heard of, uh, White Metal Warriors, mm -hmm. in sort of the late 80s, early 90s, I think that came out. And then we, um, I think on that album, there was uh, bands like Seventh Angel, um, Detritus, Ooh, who else was on there, Lazarus, um, and a couple of others were on there as well. Mm. And from that, we got to our debut album, which was uh, No Rest, No Mercy, which mm. came out in 93, I think. Mm. Um, yeah, and we had some great times with that. We were recording that in, uh, where was that? Bridge North. Bridge North, yeah, in, in Shropshire. Mm. Um, and then we had a sort of a bit of a playing playing quite a lot of stuff in uh, in those days we sort of toured the the album uh, between 93 and uh, 1993 and 1995 um we were tied to kingsway for a few years so we couldn't release anything independently until right. we were out, out of contract with them which it took which is why it took quite a long time before we got the um the second album out uh bleeding heart right. 
um i think it was 99 that was so and then that we sort of release albums every uh seemingly every six years <laughs> as it <turns> out. <laughs> for no no real apparent reason but uh that seems to be the sort of the, the time span that, uh, when we get stuff out so for one right. reason or another no yeah so um what else do you want to know um so i mean tell us obviously because i know uh through the uh facebook page uh you've been kind of putting out photos of uh the various many places uh that you've you, you've played uh and particularly some of the uh i guess gigs in europe uh look particularly good uh so yeah yeah you know, some highlights from uh, from from your touring history i guess yeah yeah quite interesting i mean we we, uh, we started going over to um europe uh, when was that when did we do that it's about 10 15 years ago we were sort of invited over to germany uh, for the first time with um, what was the, the festival called um, Metal Fest I think it was called or something like that Right. Uh, Narnia uh, mm. and uh, Rob Rock were, were the headliners right. and uh, we, was, we were just under them so that was a great great wow. uh, weekend that was yeah mm. um, first time we'd actually played in Germany so it was, it was, a, we played, it was in old it was in an old um, warehouse somewhere uh, oh, great wow. crowd yeah, yeah. Brilliant crowd who were, you know, really, um, really up on their on their heavy rock and their on their metal. Mm. It, was, it was great, mm. and great to uh, play with Narnia in Rob Rock. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, that was quite a quite a thing for us. Really, that yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. from that, really, we we sort of got picked up by other festivals in in Europe. Mm. Um, we did um, Elements of Rock in Switzerland, uh, which was another one, another good mm. one. We played with um, Baron Cross, I think, headlined that one. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Quite good. Yeah. Um, and I think the last time we played in Europe was in Holland a couple of years ago. Right. Um, that was a good, good one in uh, Leviticus. We're, we're headlining on that one as okay. well. I think, right. I think they just got back together. Right. Right. In real times and uh, yeah, um, they were headlining. That was a good, yeah, that was another good weekend. Great weekend mm. in Holland. Mm. Um, yeah. So. But well, I guess just uh, I can't remember what I was watching. I think I've been watching a Saxon documentary, uh, but uh, it just seems that uh, yeah, I think Europe seem a bit more receptive to uh, British rock and metal bands than yeah, uh, you know, yeah, they've never, yeah, they've never well, they've never really seemed in Europe, um, particularly Germany. Um, mm. They've they've maintained their. Um, their rock credentials and their metal right. credentials that you know they still support the bands um over there and they go to all the live gigs well when you can before this yeah. covid thing, yes. But, yes yeah um they support the bands and and you know even, even like the, the likes of white snake and all the rest of them mm. they mm -hmm. they do all the festivals over there they tend right. not to play over here quite so no, much no. which is a bit of a shame really but yes. uh, i suppose yeah. they go where the audiences are well, so yeah no this is it yeah. um so I was, I, was, I was going to ask i was just saying before we kind of went live on, on, on Facebook, uh, I think we were just asking how long I've been doing this and I was saying mm. kind of where it, it, it came from uh, and sort of a response to perhaps uh, people within uh, churches or Christian communities who perhaps uh, don't understand or get grief mm. for uh, being into this sort of music. Um, yeah, yeah. So it would just, just be interesting kind of anything you want to share in terms of your perspective on, you know, music and faith or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is quite interesting, as you were saying before we came on air. Um, there's certain aspects of the church, even now, really don't um, appreciate that uh, there is a message uh, in uh, in metal music, um, mm. and it's not all, you know, it's not satanic at all, or you know, or yeah. black, or the rest of it. But you know, that happened now, uh, and mm. it happened in the '80s when we were playing in the '80s. Mm. Uh, I remember we played a gig. Um, somewhere in the midlands and um there was uh set, there was christians you know inverted commas christians outside with burning crosses saying that you know stopping people coming to the gig and not you know oh, should be going dear. into that gig and that sort of thing right, and right you know but we did the gig anyway and then i think yeah. seventh angel played on that one as well i think that maybe in the, one of their first gigs right um but i think it's changed um mm. for the better i think since the 80s mm. um and that you know, there's, there's a lot more people in the church. You're realising that um, you know, the devil doesn't have all the good tunes. No, no, exactly. You know, to to quote uh, to quote somebody. 
Yeah, 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 quite. <laughs> yeah. If I was in a band called Striper, I might, what is it, the new one, is it, even the devil believes, yes. Mm, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, thank you. That's, that's yeah, really helpful. And I just hope if anybody, I know some people are listening who've, who've not had the best experience uh, within uh, a church setting because of how they look, what they listen to, and even the shape of their bass guitar, uh, if that looks a bit too, uh, oh, a bit too jagged. Uh, but, you know, look, you can it's all good it's all good um yeah 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 i mean i mean god judges us by what's in our heart not what not what's on our head or what's in you know what we wear and that's all yeah. what we listen to um you know god judges us for what that is and loves us for who we are not uh what other people think we should be so mm. yeah thank you um i'm not i'm aware i just yeah i was just going to ask uh you know how how covid has impacted you as a as a band because i think you were kind of working on <clears throat> excuse me a new yeah. album and yeah, yeah that's right yeah yeah we did um, most of the, the the new album um was finished well we uh, about three quarters of the way finishing the album uh, up to about you know january february and uh, andy was uh, due to um uh, do a few more parts for his bits and pete was due mm. to do his lead guitar parts right because then this covid thing hit um um, we all live in different areas. Right. We don't, you know, we live qu quite a few miles miles away from one another, mm. um, and it just put the kibosh on that. Really, um, yeah. we we couldn't get together to finish off. So we sort of, you know, thought about how we could perhaps do it electronically um, mm. and that sort of thing. But it didn't really work out, to be perfectly honest. Right. No. So we thought, well, let's just write this year off, and then we mm. can start hopefully fresh next year right um right. and in in the in between times we've gone uh andy lives in lancashire mm -hmm. and they are now in tier two so um right. there's no way that uh, we could get together anyway to finish off no. so no no uh, so i mean yeah no definitely well especially i mean obviously for you producing the music but all of us waiting for it as well oh no yeah but, yeah. Uh, yeah i mean I, I guess i mean obviously then you know not only in terms of being able to to, to record and be together and have that sort of creative bounce off each other but uh, you know again in terms of you know, we've talked about some of the places that stay away of uh, have played but obviously you know no, no gigs at the moment as mm. how's that sort of what, what impact has that had well it, it, it is um you know it's it's, it's quite sort of frightening really mm. with this covid thing because um you know the ven venues are uh closed and it's um and it's difficult to know really whether um whether they will open again or whether they will permanently shut mm. um and you know it's bad for for bands because there's nowhere for them to play nowhere for us to play really because there's venues are closed and mm. you know different people can't get together mm. and uh, it's also bad for the venues with them being closed you know because some of these venues will close permanently and yeah. that will be their livelihood gone yeah so yeah. you know i think it's um when we do come out on the other side of all this it's going to be a completely different place for Mm. you know for the music world and well and for everybody else i think really so it's yeah, definitely well, big big impact on it on everybody really yeah yeah well it's interesting my uh bass teacher they've just done their first gig down in bristol their first gig in nine months uh yeah. and they are you know punk uh and they were saying you know playing to people sat around tables uh mm. so yeah. even when you can do it the vibe is completely different and again yeah, yeah especially yeah. for this sort of music what does that what does that mean long term but so exactly. just say hello yeah. to uh, andy's in the, in on facebook so hello andy um, hi andy yeah <laughs> who's andy who's andy oh andy oh yeah 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, a, he's either he's either at work uh, um, or he's at home, which whichever he's probably at, probably at, probably at work. I don't know. Right. I, oh, I, I oh well, okay, okay. We won't mention we've seen him then. We'll keep quiet. <laughs> so <it's>, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I guess obviously, you know, for those who you know appreciate this music, uh, uh, and if people are watching and listening and have you know never come across. Uh, Stay away. Um, I have put some links to um, cool, cool. the Stay Away channel on YouTube. Um, yeah. And when we do the prayers in a minute, uh, just going to use, uh, if that's okay, it's just a, you know, a couple of lyrics as introductions to, to prayers, um, mm -hmm. if that's all right. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, a what what can we do to support, you know, bands, particularly bands in you know in, in the UK during this time? Uh, and uh, if you want to check out Stay Away, where can we go? 
Well, on Facebook, it's facebook.com, stay away the band. Um, and, 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 you know, and share anything that you, you know, uh, join, join the group, the, uh, the stay away fan, fan group and, and uh, you know, comment on various things and, and share things on there with your friends. Because if you, if you share, then other people see it and because mm. it gets uh, the message around then. Mm. Um, and as you say, the, the, the YouTube channel is YouTube, a stay away official. Mm -hmm. um, and then our website, we've got a website, stairwayonline.co.uk. Um, and that has uh, all various links to um, the Stairway Music Store and um, what albums we've done and, and the band's history. Mm -hmm. um, and that's sort of, you know, all the usual things like that. We don't, we, don't, we don't put on Facebook. There's lots of stuff on the website that isn't on Facebook. So. Right. OK, so that might be the, yeah, the, the, the place to go, uh, first yeah. of all, particularly if you want to yeah, check stuff out and, uh, and, and, and purchase particularly. Uh, yeah yeah thank and you. if you if you're not into buying cds because uh, i mean it's quite quite expensive to um to uh, to mail cds these days mm. um download and on itunes and various things on itunes not everything right. on itunes but okay. there's some itunes um stuff on there as well and all these links are on the on the story online website so that's good uh, you can find them on there okay and when we've, when we've finished i'll sort of go back in and, and, and drop uh, links in as well Excellent. Uh, for people yeah cool. no thank you i really appreciate your time i mean is there anything else you particularly want to get across or well, i just really um supporting a stairway uh, mm. and and you know and metal music uh, in general because it's mm. at the metal music's having a, a bit of a um a tough time at the moment i think mm. it's um I, rem uh, I remember reading a couple of days ago uh janice sweet um the of the boys mother she was saying that uh, metal music is having a bit of a bad time at the moment and it's um, right. uh, with, with all the support and that sort of thing. So get out and support, uh, mm. you know, heavy rock and, and metal music because we need yeah. it really, especially yeah. in these times that uh, we can't play anywhere and um, it's difficult mm. to get together to record stuff. Mm. So if you can share uh, videos and stuff that you find on, uh, on YouTube, then share those on your Facebook pages. And, uh, and just basically keep the um, the vision alive, as it were, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to break in to keep the fires burning then, but I won't because uh, <laughs> you don't need to hear me sing it, I tell you. Uh, but I think, okay, okay one, one, one personal question that I really wanted to ask you in terms of uh, your voice is, yeah. like, well, you know, it's up there in terms of, you know, absolute metal greats. So were you, were you kind of classically good. trained or, or? No, uh, no, no. How do you do it? <laughs> No, no. really wow okay no it's just um i think years of doing what you do really i mean it's right. been what, over 40 years so mm. uh you, you sort of um uh, you, your voice learns um sort of uh how you want it to be over the over years mm. and uh it, you sort of train it to to go whichever way you want it to work so um i do the stairway stuff with the, you know the heavy rock metal stuff but uh, mm. I do all this stuff as well. I mean, I've yep. done um, some, you know, um, pop type stuff. I mm. mean, um, I'm working on stuff, stuff at the moment. Mm. Um, so, sort of, you know, some pop stuff just to just to right. do, do something different. So. Different, yeah, yeah. And then it means that I can use my voice in slightly different ways as well. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, cool. Thank you. So, there's, there's hope for me that maybe another 42 years, despite my bass now looking even cooler because it's got a stairway sticker on, uh, I might actually be able to play more than the, the first three notes of Smoke on the Water. Uh, <laughs> that's giving me hope. Thank you. Well, that's, well, that's, a, that's a tough one to play, tough one to crack those. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. But no, thank you so much for your time. I will put the no, links in. But, uh, you know, if in doubt, get on uh, Google. Other search engines are available. Uh, yeah. and, and do look up Stairway and uh, and support them in any way you you can, especially during these times. Uh, Thanks, mate. Yeah. No, that's fine. I think I, you know I was talking to Brian um, Racing Quake uh, about kind of meltdown and stuff, and mm. yeah, I was saying that you know I think uh, your first album was one of those that I think well, I think I bought it in the Kingsway tent at Greenbelt. Oh, okay. And, uh, and this and this is at a time when I'd kind of you know grown up 
in a Christian family. Uh, yeah. Perhaps got to that age where I thought, oh, it's just a load of rubbish. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, went to Greenbelt uh, and, you know, back in the days where my musical choice was based on which has got the sort of, you know, the best artwork on the on the cover. I think, oh, right, well, that's mine. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that and the, the Seventh Angel album, like, right, I think then. And, uh, but again, just, yeah. just the lyrics, um, particularly, you know, that sort of keep the fires burning, the chorus of that is, is just yeah, one of those yeah. that, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, which, which, whatever yeah, which, you believe. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Which uh, which Greenbelt did you go to? Which which year would that been? Uh, so I was trying to work this out the other day. It might have been. It was somewhere between sort of ninety three, ninety five ish. It was oh, kind okay. of early to mid ninety. I think it was back in the day where they actually had the yeah the metal afternoon, uh, yeah. in the whatever tent it was. Uh, yeah, because uh, I know I think I can't remember which year it, I can't remember if it was that year or a different one. Where it was I think it was Seventh Angel, Guess So Many Rows, and I can't remember who else was playing. Uh, okay, but. Cool. Uh, yeah, you I know. know, I know it. When when uh, when the album the No Rest Most No Mercy came out ninety three, right? We uh, we played Green Belt, right. um, and White Cross were on as well, right? Um, uh, and Get So Many Rose. That might uh, be. Ooh. That would have been ninety three ish, something around about there. So, um, but I don't think they have. I don't think they have metal at all now in in uh, in Green Belt, do they? Not no, working. well, I think. I um, mean, I haven't been for. Oh, I dread to think. Uh, I think, well, trying to work out based on how old my children are now, uh, and uh, I think the, the the youngest one was was a baby when we went. So that's I'm talking nine years ago now. Um, mm. I think it was still the meltdown stage. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, sort of goth Eucharist and, and and a couple of alternative things. But yeah, in oh. terms of you know actually. Yeah, a decent <laughs> somewhere where you didn't just have a very low ceiling, and uh, you know <laughs> you're really struggling with the sound at the best of times. No matter how talented the people are playing, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to have that profile at Greenbelt for for that sort of music, yeah, so yeah, it hasn't been there. And that's part of why I think I've not particularly, uh, yeah, ventured back, in uh, recent times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, no. But thank you. It's been a real privilege to talk to you. That's I've, great. It's been great to and talk I've to met you. One of my metal heroes. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. And uh, unlike when I, I met Rick Allen from Def Leppard, I didn't tell you I loved you. So that's all right. That's, uh, that's a step <laughs> forward. <laughs> it's got I'm, completely contact. Uh, what do you mean you don't love me then? Well, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But in no, that big, <laughs> in that big band way. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. <laughs> but yeah, no. It was just uh, I, you know queued all day. Uh, got down the front. Uh, and, and it was, it was. I think they played. I think they played Sheffield and London a few years ago. Oh, yeah. That was the only UK gigs. It was at the Astoria, as it was then. Yeah. Was it? Oh, was it Apollo? Um, yeah. Got down the front. And this bit where <laughs> Rick Allen sort of looked down. I looked up. He's there in his sequin jumpsuit, yeah, and yeah. I just went, "I love you." I love you. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah, I just thought, oh, God, please take me now. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd, I'd be the same, uh, you know, with Freddie Mercury if uh, yeah, he yeah. was stuck around. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, my other half is now laughing. I've just posted in a manly way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but, uh, no, well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, we'll no put problem. the links in and just, uh, again, encourage people to, to check out Stay Away uh and share share their music if it's not your cup of tea with the rock and metalhead in your life they will thank you for it um so i was going to do the sort of evening prayer bit if you need to shoot off or want to shoot off that's that's absolutely fine if you just yeah. leave the meeting that's, that, that, that's cool but, okay uh, thanks again thank you and, uh, good to speak to you and uh, good evening to everybody who's uh, who's tuned in yeah, I, I, just to say that obviously Andy's also one of my uh, <laughs> metal heroes and I've met him on Facebook now in live chat and I love him too. There we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Graham. Thank, Thank you very right. much. All the best. Yeah. God bless. Good Take care. Bye. Cheers, man. Bye. Wow. Thank you, Graham. Uh, good to have you here as well, Andy. Um, if you don't know, Andy, Andy is the, uh, the, the drummer from Stay Away and, and some other bands. Um, so uh, do check them out. Uh, people off to church meetings, so take, take care. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Nigel. Uh, it was White Cross. Amazing. Um, hello, Liam. Hello, Maria. Uh, Sally, I think I've caught up with everybody. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, tonight's question 
um, from the Metal Methodist way of life. Uh, we've heard Graham talking about uh, how through music, uh, he and Stairway share their faith, uh, and also how perhaps for some people it, it kind of brings a bit of heat with it and it's misunderstood. Um, so I wonder in what ways uh, we've had, what ways we've had recently to share faith, um, perhaps again, through using our gifts uh, and our passions uh, to do that. Thank you. Thank you. All's well with the world. We have our poo emojis from Ari for this evening. Uh, I'm going to try and find some music while we think about that question. So it was there, it just starts really quietly. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, thanks again to Graham and to Andy. Um, let's gather. As moon rises, the sun slips sight, begins the ritual of this night. For those convinced their path is right. Gathered from north, south, east and west, yet called at another's behest, those treading the path that is left. From near and far, come as you are to this place and embrace this space as darker hue embraces you. All together, good evening, Hugh. Of I hope you're a fan of Stairway. Spirit, earth and fire, confessing the sins of empire, we come with our wounds and desire. Sensing that we are not alone, drawn to the flame that guides us home. For here, you, me, and yet to be. Importance and signs of these times, for the sake of all those maligned, is yet the home of the divine. <laughs> So, uh, hello to Rachel. Hello to Mark. Uh, yeah, big, uh, big thoughts and prayers for those in Snotingham. Uh, to give it its uh, Norse Viking name, I think Snotingham. Yes, uh, entering Tier Three on Thursday. Um, 
Aris Moshing, good man, good man. See, Ari, don't let your mum cut your hair. It'd be a lot easier to mosh when you've got your hair longer. Uh, that's why I'm trying to grow mine, isn't it, Catherine? Uh, hello, uh, Rachel uh, and Rita and Neil. Uh, catch you later, Dave. Hello, Dave. My wife now. Um, so what has been your tooth and tack moment for today? Maybe there were several. I hope there were uh, moments of elevation within your heart, within your soul, within the core of your being, uh, things that have uh, given you hope, uplifted you, uh, and for which you are grateful and thankful. Uh, I think the chance to just chill out this afternoon uh, with, uh, yeah, with, with others uh, and just have some time is great. So much appreciated. Um, yes, I am trying to grow to the front too, Catherine. It's just got further to go because it's starting from further back now. That's all. <clears throat> anyway, that's 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 just rained on me too. Some tack. <laughs> Let's uh, enjoy some uh, uplifting power metal, shall we? Yes. <laughs> to uh, help us in our tooth and tack our thank you section uh, some words as promised uh, from stairway this is from uh, the 2016 2016 album uh, so <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Graham said, uh, that's six years, 2021. Next album. Awesome. Uh, from the album Pound Glory, uh, the song Son of Malachi. Uh, if over time there's a way of knowing the place of open dreaming, escape the man of the blackened lie. And there we will find the open door from the pain of the past. Find the truth and find the way of love. But maybe also uh, there are things we want to lay down from today. Hurts, uh, received or inflicted, um, stuff we're carrying, uh, anxieties. Um, yeah, we give those to God and lay them at the foot of the cross so we don't need to carry them anymore. Uh, and these words uh, from the song, Raise Your Hands Again from the album Power and Glory by Stairway. We see the full moon rising across the blackened sky. The sun is red as crimson, burning at our eyes. Deep is the pain and torture, flailing hordes of doom, where evil counts disaster and steals the soul of everlasting truth. And if we're feeling any of that, we can say together, the principalities and will to power the worms from within my own darkest hour. I confess all the regrets and the regrets, the burdens and the fears, the lament and the tears for ourselves, those whom we love, all humanity, all creation. We lay them down. And Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest evening paul we are one third of a way to a full epistle of paul's this evening uh one's in Ooh. <clears throat> big love to rothwell so uh tonight's reading continuing from hebrews and i still brew too when i make a cup of tea yes i did it again That's ASMR Metal Bible, pager, paper. Uh, 
Hebrews 11 uh, and 1 to 7. Um, faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in days of old earned a good reputation. By faith, we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command, and what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. It was by faith that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God than Cain did. Abel's offering gave evidence that he was a righteous man, and God showed his approval of his gifts. Although Abel is long dead, he still speaks to us by his example of faith. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He disappeared because God took him. For before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God. And it's impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to God must believe that God exists and that God rewards those who sincerely seek him. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God, who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world, and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. Um, so I don't know what you believe, what you don't believe, uh, if you would count yourself as someone having faith in God. Um but it's something about reading that reminds us that actually faith is a two-way thing. Faith is a gift from God to each individual. Uh, and, and so there's the stories that we get in that reading. And, and the whole of the chapter continues with stories from Old Testament figures about the things that they did being by their faith. Uh, that it was, you know, and they only act in that way because they had a relationship with God uh, that gave them the hope, um, to, you know, and, and trust in God that things could be better and different and so they acted by faith uh, in response to what God was saying um, you know but it took an act and so they had to have the only reason they took that act and that step in doing what God was calling them to do was because they put their faith in God and they were able to put their faith in God because of the relationship that they had directly with God Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things unseen. So faith is perhaps strengthened uh, for people who follow the way of Jesus because of the life, the death and the rising again of Jesus. Uh, who, you know, another name for Jesus uh, is a name ascribed to him is Emmanuel, which means God with us. We're able to have a relationship with God through Jesus, God with us, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. So we can have that relationship uh, and act by faith, uh, even if we can't see what's, what is to be, but we know it's going to be. Uh, and it, we, therefore through Jesus, we can be like those, those figures that uh, from the Old Testament that are given, those heroes of faith from the Old Testament that are given in Hebrews. Um, but we know that there's more to come uh, through faith, through that relationship with God through Jesus. We know that there will be a time when God's kingdom is fully below as above. And so faith is a daily relationship with a God who is with us. So whatever you believe, I just kind of pray and encourage you just to think about, uh, yeah, what, what, what that relationship with God and that gift of faith uh, can mean in your life um, and, and, and how you act from that faith. So, uh, from the heading evangelism, uh, from the Greek, uh, from where we get the word angel and messenger. Uh, so uh, how do we carry the messengers of good news? How do we be angels to each other, uh, carrying good news from God to help others in their faith, just as we heard about in that reading? So what opportunities have there been to share your faith recently? It's been great to hear uh, from Graham uh, about uh, how Stairway share their faith through their music um and the way they use their gifts uh, so how do you use your gifts to share your faith uh, so just a bit of a pause while people have a think and type in
and I guess also we just want to open ourselves and invite God to show us and prompt us uh, in coming days about how we can use uh, our gifts, uh, whatever they may be. Uh, and we all have them because we all know we're made in the image of God. Yeah. So, hey, mm. um, whether that's listening, whether that's a helping hand, an act of loving kindness, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, using your gifts like Graham and Stairway of, of, of music or of, of caring in a professional context, um, whether in education or health and social care uh, <clears throat> or within the community, whatever it is that we might use those gifts to share something of our faith. Um, so let's pray. Uh, on behalf of my mother, I uh, want to say thank you to everybody here for praying and to give thanks that her operation went swimmingly well today. Uh, and so just continued prayers for good healing. Um, and I continue to pray for S, D and D. And any other people or situations that people want to uh, name in their hearts, in your hearts, or out loud with people that you're with, or by typing in. Uh, pray again with Joyce uh, after Jean's funeral today. Yep, thank you, Catherine. Let's pray for anybody and everybody who, as we continue through this pandemic, uh, just finds their mental health being affected, um, maybe without realising it, um, just in terms of anxiety levels, maybe not being sure of, of, of what that anxiety is necessarily or what's causing it, but just carrying that, that background and, and, and level, low level, just, just their stuff. Um, let's pray for, 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 for peace. Uh, and again, through faith, that relationship of faith with God in Jesus, that uh, you know we have that real sense of, of, of conviction and hope for the future of God's promises. So let's offer these prayers to the one in whom all people and all creation have their being. May your kingdom come. Your will be done as above, so below. Sustain us for this day. Show us grace as we seek to show grace to those we feel have wronged us. Save us from the worst that is within us and within this world. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So through that uh, relationship of faith with God through Jesus, let's send each other with these words. May the peace of the all parents be yours and mine with those whom we love this night. And in the time that is and will fully be with all people and all creation. Oh, Oh, wow. Thank you, Rita. Uh, Rita's saying she shared her faith with the nurse as she gave, is it he? Sorry. <gasps> what a blatant sexist stereotype blunder. Misogyny I just blundered into there, didn't I? Sorry, Rita. As Rita shared her faith with him as he gave her her shingles jab. Uh, yeah, no, thankful for good news about my mum. Uh, oh, wow. And uh, yeah, thankful for Mark who, yeah scattered his dad's ashes yesterday after 16 months after the funeral so again a big love Rita to you and to Neil and to Mark and the rest of the family um yeah, uh, yeah um, after that event uh, may you know that you are loved and held by God and by all of us as well hi Mark um just want to before we get to our final bit i just want to say if you're here for the first time maybe you've come to check out uh, what graham was saying and to find out about stairway i will post as soon as i finish this 
uh, links to the metal uh, what's it metal compline the music playlist which has uh, some links to uh, stairway songs from YouTube uh, but also dropping the links for where you can find stairway on Facebook and on uh, on YouTube and online as well uh, and again just encourage you to go and check them out uh, support them if you can share stuff uh, and if you know feel able to to buy either uh, through them from the links on their website uh, or iTunes or you know various other streaming platforms uh, please do as we you know just recognize how many industries including the music industry is being affected at this time um, but to encourage us and send us on our way some final lyrics from stay away from the song raise our hands uh, raise our hands we'll raise our hands with sword of truth we'll make a stand we'll ride across the burning sky and fight the kingdom of the lie here we clear the battle call armed and ready we will go then we'll make our final stand and there we will find the promised land so go well and all it remains for me to say is uh blisters and others let us sway <laughs> Happy, happy stairway researching. I was like, you can lost there, trust me, you'll enjoy it. Night all. And thanks, Green. I get fa 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 fa